Merry me, everyone. So how is this for a gorgeous harvest basket? So I wanted to share a little bit of um, my day today, a little bit of my eclipse day, and here we go. So first of all, what I learned at my farmer's market is that squash, uh, what I was told anyway, squash is better tasting and more ripe if you let it cure, which means to let it sit for some months, or a month, about a month depends a little bit, <clears throat> probably, um, but I wasn't aware of that, so um, I thought I'd pass that on. And the second thing is something that my boyfriend brought up I wanted to share that I didn't know um, that I'm going to try out is apparently uh, in older times people used to store their squash and vegetables and baskets and things, um, but you used hay, dried hay, in the baskets, uh, kind of packing it around them to keep them from touching each other or to minimize their uh, contacts because they become overripe and they spoil faster when they're in contact with each other. So I didn't know about that. We happen to somehow have uh, a pile of hay that was actually naturally grown around here. If you knew where I lived, it, it's kind of odd, but it it grew and uh, it was cut down recently, so there's like a pile of hay in my front yard. And so I went out and grabbed some hay and I'm going to try that out. I'm going to have to watch a video on it and see just how to do it, make sure I do it right. Um, and do that soon. Everyone, I'm so happy right now. Um, just drinking a delicious fruit smoothie, and I'm so happy because I have all of this gorgeous food. I just got back from our farmer's market, and um, I have this beautiful basket of gorgeous food. And so I need to clean it off a little bit because we carried it back in a canvas bag and there's just so much of it that um, one of the tomatoes got jumbled and smushed so there's a little bit of tomato gush on some of the squashes and things and I wanted to share with you what we brought back. So we have these beautiful purple bell peppers. Um, I say these because there's a couple of them. These are uh, really tasty. We got to sample them, <laughs> but I don't remember what they're called. A handful of these beans, somewhat like a green bean, but a bit different. Gorgeous. I think they're really gorgeous. And that was my kitty knocking something over. Okay, some garlic. This is apple. Um, infused, I think they said apple infused or apple smoked garlic. Never tried that before. Excited to give that a try. It looks like a regular garlic. Alright, here's the other purple bell pepper. I have this gigantic heirloom, I think it is, but I'm not positive, a uh, red pepper. Something different about the name here. It wasn't um, just a bell pepper, but I don't remember. I should have taken photographs of the, the names of all of these things. <clears throat> but right now, all I can do is show them. Um, this is definitely an heirloom tomato. It's also very, I tasted it and I love it. It's a, uh, when I tasted it, I but I think this is what tomatoes were originally supposed to taste like. It's sweeter, I think. It's really delicious. And I have another little one of that same variety. And they are ripe now. 
meant to be green. This beautiful squash. This is also an heirloom squash. This, um, and I haven't tried that either. Excited about it. This is apparently a cross between a pumpkin and a zucchini squash. So I was just amazed by that. Um, the farmer said that it's not genetically modified. And so that's exciting for me as well. It's really, really cool. It kind of looks like a swan, right? I'm not sure if you can get the full color experience or not. It's a beautiful light green, white speckly. Not speckles, but notches. Now these, I think these are what amazed me the most. I also sampled these, but these are cucumbers. These are heirloom cucumbers. Um, <clears throat> hopefully I I can get pictures of uh, these things and insert them in here. They are, but if not, um, I forget what year these are and where they're from and all of that, but they're just wonderful and I was just blown away by them. They're so cool. I think they're a Native American variety of cucumber. So I got a few of those in here. Uh, an apple. I have a couple of apples. These aren't heirloom or anything, even organic, but we did talk to them about their pest control and um, they do selective pest control with it. Here is another heirloom squash. It's a lot more orange than it's showing up in the camera, unfortunately. Squash. I haven't tried any of these squashes yet and I'm so excited as some of you who have been following my channel know I've been in that oven for <clears throat> over a year and now I have one and um, autumn and winter cooking is some of my favorite times to do cooking and baking and so I'm so excited to be able to bake squashes. I don't remember, uh, I didn't try the squash. Um, was told what it tastes like and it sounded good enough so that I would get a larger one. This was one of the larger ones of this variety. We have some lentil sprouts and mung bean sprouts. Oh, so delicious. I tried these there too. I was familiar with what mung bean sprouts taste like, um, but to taste them fresh from the farmer's market, they taste different than the ones I've tried before. And the lentil sprouts are just, I, I think I like them even better. I don't know. I like them both. But they have a little a bit of a zesty, peppery taste. Kind of like pepper, like black pepper, I think. So I'm excited about those. And another apple. I'm not actually sure which ones these are. I let my boyfriend pick which ones we got. There was a choice between sunflower sprouts and uh, pea shoots. Uh, I like them both. Some of those. This is another one of those cucumbers. So cool. When you slice into them, they are a, they're a palish green white color on the inside and they look like a, like the cucumbers that you find regularly in stores um, that are green on the outside, dark green. But they taste, I don't know, they taste different. They're very crisp. Delicious. This is an acorn squash, an organic acorn squash. And what else do we have in here? Some husk cherries or husk tomatoes, I forget what they're called. They're also called ground cherries, and I tend to call them that. These are really, they're really cool. I think I tried these for the first time last year, and 
beer, uh, I don't know, my boyfriend thinks they taste a lot like a tomato. <clears throat> I think they taste more like a cherry than a tomato, but you can definitely taste both the influence of cherry and tomato, I feel. And then you can just pull the husks off, it's really easy. They're sweet, and they're very like a snack type thing, but also to put in dishes. If you like sweet dressings, this would probably be really good in your salads. Okay, we have another one of these, cu these cucumbers. Um, we were told that these cucumbers stay good for <clears throat> a couple weeks, and you don't even have to refrigerate them for them to, to keep. So I'm really excited about that. That's why we bought so many of them, and um, I'll try to remember to update you and let you know in the comments when they turn out, we're going to try that out. They're a brownish orange color. I'm not sure if you're getting really the, the true color in this camera, but they are just so cool. I, I love them. And what else? Do you have anything else? That is everything, I guess, that was in the basket, but it was just uh, so wonderful and so cool. I had to share how I spent part of my eclipse with you <clears throat> um, today. I don't know when the eclipse is exact, but today is the 12th of September, and we went to the farmer's market and did some shopping and got some amazing stuff. It's just brightening me up, um, cheering me up. I'm so excited about it. Uh, we also got a sunflower, one of the pale petal sunflowers. Really nice, hanging out in my window right now. I don't have that to show you. Maybe I'll take a picture. But it was just a wonderful time, and so I hope you all are well. Please leave any comments, questions that you have in the description, um, <clears throat> down below, excuse me, I'm thinking ahead. So I'm now on Patreon. If you would like to support me on Patreon, the link for that is down below in the description. Thank you very much in advance. I hope you all are well. Merry Park and Merry Meet Again.